What's going on everyone, Rich Lee here, and today I'm going to be attempting to train a 1 rated goalkeeper all the way up to a 99 rating. We all know how ridiculously overpowered goalkeeper training is in FIFA, so how many seasons will this process take? I reckon we can do it within about 4 or 5 seasons, but who knows, let's wait and see. As you can see on the screen though, I've created a player with 1 rated stats in every possible area. The only stat that's higher than that is his composure, because every player that you create has a composure rating of 50. You can't edit that unfortunately, otherwise I would have done. So you've probably already noticed that I've chosen to call my goalkeeper Peter Schmeichel, and the reason for that is that he's my absolute favourite goalkeeper of all time. If I'm going to create a 99 rated monster of a goalkeeper, his name just has to be Schmeichel. Just look at his son as well, he's not done too bad for himself either. It's in the genes. If your name's Schmeichel, you're gonna go far, kid. Maybe my prediction was a little pessimistic as well. Most mere mortals would probably take much longer to get all the way up to a 99 rating, but this is a Schmeichel that we're working on here. He's no regular player, that's for sure. Anyway though, before I get properly moving along with the video, if you're new to the channel and want to see more FIFA 17 career mode experiments from me, then make sure you smash that subscribe button, and if you do go on to enjoy this video, then drop it a like as well. Right, so every week Schmeichel will be completing training drills in one-on-one -on -one goalkeeping and throws and drop kicks. Let's see just how long it will take him to reach that desired 99 rating. The early signs are pretty strong. He's already gone up to a 4 rating with just one session, and the journey has now begun on his road to a 99 rating. I won't show you every training session as that will get ridiculously repetitive, but let's move forward to January and let's see just how much he can grow in the first half of the season. He's going to be trained every single week, and hopefully this process will be pretty swift in training him up to a 99 rating. Well that escalated quickly didn't it? In just half a season, Peter Schmeichel has gone from a 1 rating to a 54. His reactions are still absolutely atrocious, but his goalkeeping stats have rocketed. As we get higher up the ratings, it'll obviously take a lot more time to develop the young Dane, but his early development has been absolutely astronomical. I reckon it's only a matter of time before he gets called up to the Danish national team as well at this rate. I always knew that goalkeeper training was pretty OP, but... 53 ratings in half a season. That is definitely more than I was expecting. And by the end of the season, he's gone up by 69 ratings. In just one season, my creative goalkeeper has gone from a 1 rating all the way up to a 70. That is absolutely ridiculous. The training sessions have been working wonders, and all of his goalkeeping stats are now in the high 70s. His reactions are still pretty poor, but... Even they've improved by 21 ratings throughout the course of the season, so hopefully it won't be too long before he can start smashing his way up into the 80s and beyond as well. Let's keep going with the experiment then, and let's see what the creative goalkeeper can accomplish in Season 2. It doesn't take long in Season 2 before an now 19-year-old Peter Schmeichel receives his first international call-up. It's the end of August, and Schmeichel's abilities are finally being noticed on the international front. He's up to a 75 rating now, with most of his goalkeeping stats having moved up into the 80s. The only stat that hasn't in fact is his handling, which isn't too bad either at a 78 to be fair. He's even made his Manchester United debut as well. De Gea has picked up an injury, and the young Dane has therefore been called into action by his manager. He didn't play at all in Season 1, but now he's getting game time, and he's doing quite well for himself as well with a 7.1 average rating. We've had some bad news come through though, unfortunately. Coming towards the end of the second season, Schmeichel has broken his metatarsal, and he's going to miss the rest of the campaign now. He's up to an 88 rating though, and in the third season, I'm just going to simulate to the end of the year without training at all, because as you can see from his stats, all of his goalkeeping stats are up into the 90s now, and his kicking has even been maxed out at 99, so in terms of training, there's not much left to do. His physicals are clearly what's holding him back from reaching a higher rating, so what he needs is a bit of time to grow them further, and hopefully if I go for a full season without training him up at all, then his physicals will grow a bit, and we can see him go up towards that 99 overall rating. And although he may have missed most of May, 
With no further training whatsoever, Schmeichel also maxed out his reflexes at 99 by the end of the season, so I'm going to sim forward to the end of the third year now and see what happens in terms of his development. As I said before, no more training from this point forward because training can't really achieve much more at this point. All that's left to do is grow his physicals, and sadly, there's not much that I can do about that with training, so hopefully his physicals will continue to develop naturally, and we can see him rise up even further next season. The training may have stopped, but Peter Schmeichel keeps on moving up through those ratings, and by the end of the third season, he's now a 96 rated goalkeeper. His goalkeeping stats are all maxed out at 99, his reactions went up to 69, and he's now worth a whopping 113 million. He played 21 games in this third season. Despite his incredibly high rating though, he only got a 7.1 average rating. I was pretty impressed with that when he got it when he was a 75 overall, but now that he's a 96 rating, not so much. So it looks like four seasons will be the magic number to move a one rated goalkeeper all the way up to a 99 overall. So let's press on with the fourth season and let's see if he can raise the bar all the way up to a 99 rating. Sure enough, the fourth season saw him move all the way up to a 99 overall, with his reactions now hitting the same heights as his goalkeeping stats. So whilst two seasons was enough to train him up in the goalkeeping department and we pretty much maxed him out in the first couple of seasons in that area, we then had to wait another couple of years for his reactions to catch up and for him to hit that 99 mark. So he made it there in the April of the fourth season, taking just under four years to get there. And throughout the course of the last season, he was able to pick up a 7.2 rating from 29 appearances. Schmeichel's dominance clearly left De Gea disgruntled as he moved on in this fourth and final season of the experiment, leaving the main man Peter Schmeichel to play a solid share of the matches. He still only played 14 league games though, which is a bit bizarre. He may have missed the final month of the season, but surely he should have still made more appearances than that given that he's got a 99 rating. Sergio Romero played more league games than he did. Maybe his fairly woeful physical stats have a lot to do with that though. He still only has 13 jumping, so he probably wouldn't really be able to reach anything whatsoever above head height, which is... Not great for a goalkeeper really, it's fairly crucial to have some sort of jumping ability when you're a goalkeeper. Sadly though, this kid has no hops whatsoever. Anyway though, I hope you've enjoyed the video, I'll leave some links in the description down below to other people creating FIFA 17 experiments. Make sure you check all of those guys out, they're all awesome people and well worth your time. So don't forget to drop this video a like if you've enjoyed it, thanks for watching and I'll catch you again next time. Oh yeah, one final thing, my full team of Messi's video got picked up by a load of websites yesterday and all sorts of people were talking about that video, from Yahoo Sport right through to the Sport Bible. Give Me Sport got the ball rolling, they wrote an article about the video and it just seemed to snowball from there really. I even got some coverage in the Netherlands from a website called Goals and Glamour. It was a pretty surreal day and if you're curious to hear more about it, I posted a video yesterday that you should be able to see displayed on the screen for you right now. I was bouncing around the house all day long yesterday. It's not every day that you get featured on a website in the Lad Bible group. But yeah, thanks for all the support recently. The channel has been in fantastic health and whether you've been here for a few weeks, a few months or are literally just watching me for the first time ever, thank you so much for watching this video and have an awesome day.